The girl up here, wanna come up in the, the blue t-shirt? She won't be able to hear you. What's your favorite song to perform? Aww. What's our favorite song to perform from Lila? Yeah. Yeah. Great question, Lila. <laughs> La Lila, I like playing remote every night. Yeah. What about you, Brian? I really like playing Hang On, but I didn't put it in the set list tonight. <laughs> it's not a very big night for us. That's why. Um, I really enjoy playing the title track from our new album, Look Alive. It's just really fun. I just kind of like newer stuff because it feels like more fun than like songs I played 700 million times. I have a question for Lila. A hard 28. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lila, um, what song do you like to hear Guster play? Overexcited. You can come on stage with us anytime, my friend. Thank you. Uh, all right, we probably have time for like one or two more questions, maybe. Um, what's that? You, you, Joe, you're the moderator here. You guys. Oh uh, no, I'm the bad guy. We're the good guy. I thought you had your hand up first, but I was also looking that way. <laughs> you. Yeah. Yes, you. <laughs> Majors. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Joe went to college too, but not at Tufts. What was your major? Business marketing. <laughs> Obviously. Look Woo! at the man. He's a suit. What do you need me to sell? Woo! He's a slave to capitalism. What do you need me to sell? <laughs> also business marketing. Uh, I can do every, go ahead. Uh, I have a <laughs> I have a degree in religious studies. Yeah! John 316? I went to the uh, the guidance counselor in my high school, Middlebury, Vermont. And they, said, they said, "What are you into?" And I said, "Well, I, I like uh, I like being outside, and I like music." And I only applied to two colleges. One was at University of Montana for the wildlife biology program, and I, I went there. And I remember meeting with the dean of the program there, and he said, "Well, you know, what kind of job do you envision yourself having?" And I said, well, "I don't know. I didn't even know it was out there." He said, "Well, are are you know, are are you working in an office? Are you working in the woods?" I, said, I don't know. So I got into the Montana, then I got into a music school, and um, I got a bigger scholarship to that, so I went to music school. <laughs> yeah, commercial music, that's what I That's did. why Luke's the best musician in the world. <laughs> I, I could have been, I could have been, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe you guys noticed that Adam is not here, uh, so Adam was a psychology major, but he's out with like the key to the city of Portland trying various <laughs> locks. And um, I, um, I did. I was undecided in college, and they let me major in American studies. <laughs> My kids are here listening. Stay in school. <laughs> I think we may have time for one more. <laughs> Which guy's been patient? Oh yeah, this guy in the red shirt's been really patient. If you can What's shout up, it man? loud. Sing it loud. We didn't plant you, but we could have. That's how I wanted to end this thing. So whose idea was it to make the big four of blowy, th the blowy guys? You know what? This is such a good segue. It was yes. nobody on stage. There was somebody in our management office. Was it, was it Jordan? Uh, Noah, probably, yeah. Now, I don't think it was Noah. Don't. All right, and this is actually good because I, I kind of wanted to talk about this tonight, and it's going to be weird because I have so many people to thank tonight. But our office has worked their butts off for this show for so long. Like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that that giant thing of me was gonna be there. I would have had them air shop out my varicose vein on my right thigh. Like that's not cool. Like in the early thirties. Easy. Um, but they, and also just to just to speak to this point, like we were talking about this. We spent so many conference calls about. 
band should we play? Should we offer to? And what are we gonna do? And I was like, guys, this is just a show. Like, it was really bumming me out. It was like taking up all this psychic energy. And then we got here yesterday, and I was like, I can't believe they knew how important this was to kind of provide a, a thing for all of you guys who have been here and did a thing. So this is like a really great segue, just to like big shout out to everybody like in our office who made so much of this stuff happen. So much so that we didn't even know that half of this stuff was happening, but it was still hilarious that they made a 28 foot blow up version of all four of us. And actually brought all four of them this year. Instead of forgetting Adam like they did last year. Dumb office members. Okay, that went a different way. Not the other way. Okay, Joe. Uh, that's your stage to wrap up, I think. I think, does everyone feel satisfied with all this great <laughs> intel? Woo! I know I do. I learned a lot. Some of it was great, some of it was boring. Overall, I thought we did a good job. Um, we'll be back here. Yeah. We're going to come back and see you, uh, see you do some Joe songs out here on the stage. So much stuff. Yeah. Everything that's happening, I think, from now until the end of the day is going to be great. And I want to go so to all awesome. of it. So please uh, pay attention to the programming. There's a hot sauce contest. Joe's going to be up here a bunch. Uh, the bands that we have are, are all like really near and dear to our hearts and, and really great people. And tonight our set's going to be great, even though we're not playing Hang On. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we, we appreciate you guys showing up. It really is. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Chip. Here you go.